Hi, I'm Jenny Badalonis, and um, in a few seconds you'll get the chance to see where the veterans live and we'll get to meet some of the veterans that live here. Hi, we're here to visit the veterans. We're going to visit room two. Yeah. Oh, how are you? Famosa, Mr. Cinco. These are the students. This is Edwin. This is Manong uh, Chavez and Manong Cinco. Well, the Veterano Project is an oral history project. Um, it's a student-run oral history project documenting the experience of Filipino World War II veterans in San Francisco. The project started in 1998 as a student project of mine. Um, I was um, conducting research on Filipino World War II veterans, um, particularly the veterans who were displaced at the Delta Hotel. Out of my research, I created the Veterano Project, which is um, basically a way for students to visit the veterans, see firsthand what, it, what their living conditions are like, and also learn about the veterans issue. Currently, there is a network that's formed to win full equity, and the way to win full equity is to pass HR 491, which is um, the Filipino Veterans Equity Bill. And I think that if there's anything that someone wants to do beyond just documenting their stories and meeting the veterans, it's to advocate and lobby for the passage of HR 491 and restore the benefits that they were promised more than 50 years ago. I've always heard about um, Justice for Veterans and I thought, you know, people hear about this but they don't actually get to see the veterans, you know, personal and intimate daily life. What is your name, birth date, and birthplace? Ernesto D. Cinco. I am a veteran under the U.S. USAPI forces, United States Armed Forces of the Far East. I was inducted to them with my right hand swearing that I am a soldier of the American government on September 1st, 1941. War was declared, we were in Leyte. I learned that they, they as uh, prisoners of war, pretty much live the same way as in the war um, compared to now. And there really is no difference. When I first started doing the interviews, I, I didn't know where to go to look for the veterans. Um, I went to the Mint Mall to look for the veterans because a lot of them were hanging out there. And since then, um, we formed the Equity Center. I come here to the Equity Center. I solicit veterans to get involved in the project and let them know that students are interested in hearing their stories and documenting their experience here. I update the guidelines for the, for the project. I, I do outreach for students to get involved on the internet and I call people. Um, I think that the Veterano Project um, really has an, a, the ultimate goal of helping the veteranos, so hopefully it'll be a success. When I first heard about it through email, I thought it would be like a good chance to listen to some old stories by some of the veterans. Like, I have a Lola myself, so it's just to see like another experience of the, um, the older generations. I think being here and just in their presence makes it more real. The Veterano Project is something useful. They're part of our history. It's going to be a forgotten past if we don't record it. It's so important for us youth to be able to continue to you know, help our veterans and to support and to fight for them because if we don't, you know, I mean, who will? So we have to take a stand as youth and, you know, because I, they don't have the strength sometimes, so let us be the legs, let us be the voice. I think that it's important for us to document our own stories instead of having it come from someone else um, so that we can incorporate it into our history. As young people, we have a responsibility to um, carry out their struggle, um, to, to get restore their dignity and get their equity. That what we'll need is definitely to get more students involved just to conduct the interviews. We need folks that know how to do video editing, um, who know how to document stuff on video. Uh, we'll need to write grants and we'll also need academic support. My hope is that future generations won't, um, won't go through a history class without learning about um, the fight for equity for veterans. We will not pay since 1941 to 1946 by the Americans. That's why we are here 
to you, young people, to spread the word, to give us justice before we fade away. <laughs>